Listen, when it comes to pop art, that emerged in the mid-1950s and it also includes and celebrates imagery from popular culture. Now, when one local artist found his niche in this very interesting, very interesting sphere of fine art, he decided to Im immortalize some very famous faces in small sculptures. Great art for me would be a number of things. First would be time. Time is the best measurement of success. It'll probably gather momentum as time goes on. And then it depends on where you are, um, what experiences you are going through in your life that will either call you to the artwork or not. Well, what I always look at is the skill or the, the technique of the, of the artwork. Is the technique well refined? Is the concept clear yet ambiguous? So you'd have that, that that sense of just wanting to come back to it and either trying to under, understand it more. It's, it's more about working out and if the more you come back to it, the more for me it becomes more powerful. Sculptor Hubert Baracivi is the man behind Pop Bus, a small scale bus of pop culture icons. The idea formed when Hubert sculpted bus from cheese for a dairy brand and evolved into his current work. The journey of the Pop Bus began a number of years ago where it was a series of commissions I had for doing portraiture and one of the commissions, they were happy with it but I felt like I needed to improve. So I decided to do what, what, what came to me naturally and in a sense it was study the masters which was Salvador Dali, Andy Warhol and Frida Kahlo. So I got, I got the images and began making little busts of them to refine my skill and then it kind of spurred on to a series of 25 where I had selected a number of icons and maybe lesser known icons like Grace Jones and then to like Banksy which nobody ever seen his face and nobody knows him. Well the creative process begins early in the morning where if I have to select a bus, I might have three or four that I might want to start, but then I'll make the process and say, okay, this is the one I'm going to do. With that, I obviously have to find my reference pictures and all of that, and then work through it, and then I would begin sculpting, starting off with the main bone structure of the, of the skull and then working my way forward. Um, and then once I, I'm happy with the sculpt, I would take it to the moulding process. There I would have a nice silicone covering over it with a fiberglass jacket. And then from there, it would be a case of exploring colour with that character because each character seems to work better with certain colours. So it will be a process of going through a variety of different colour tests and, and seeing. And, and with that process, I actually spray paint and mask the, the busts and then come in with a fine paintbrush just to do the final detail in the eyes and the teeth and so forth. Hubert works on multiple projects at the same time and a bus can take anything from three weeks to six months to complete. He is currently exhibiting 25 pop culture icons in a Cape Town gallery. Uh, the, the public response has been very good, kind of superseded my expectations. What's been amazing is when people are actually walking past the gallery and uh, I see their head turn and I see a smile, like a raw smile and like excitement in their eyes and that's been very uplifting for me. I, I, I didn't think it was going to create such a, such a stir, really. I do have a favourite bust, but it does seem to change quite regularly. At the moment, that seems to be David Attenborough. He's an icon that we've all grown up with. Most people only know him for his voice. And what's going to make me really happy is that he's going to have one for himself. Although Hubert is taking some time to work on his skills, he wants to do more pop busts in the future, which might put him head and shoulders above the rest in the local pop art scene.